The aim of the Federal Reserve is to maintain a steady state economy in the United States. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. When the economy is booming and running hot, it is possible for economic distortions, such as inflation and asset bubbles to spiral out of control, which poses a threat to the economy's overall stability. When this happens, the Federal Reserve will step in and boost interest rates, which will assist slow down the economy and keep it on track for growth. But what impact does this hike in interest rates by the Federal Reserve have on the economy? Let's get to know, shall we? Hello, and welcome to our channel, Primetime TV. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever our channel is up with a new video. We will keep you updated with whatever is happening around the world, so stay tuned. Federal Reserve and Interest Rates The Federal Reserve's primary responsibility is overseeing U.S. monetary policy, which entails regulating the creation of new money in the economy. The Federal Reserve has a number of tools at its disposal for conducting monetary policy, but interest rate manipulation stands out as the most visible and successful. When the Fed raises interest rates, they are referring to the Federal Funds Rate, also known as the Federal Funds Target Rate. The Federal Open Market Committee FOMC, establishes a target range for the Federal Funds Rate at its regular meetings, which serves as a reference for the interest rates big commercial banks charge each other for overnight loans. Banks borrow overnight loans to meet liquidity requirements imposed by regulators such as the Fed. The effective federal funds rate is the average of the rates that banks negotiate for overnight lending. This has an effect on other market rates, such as the prime rate and the SOFR. The federal funds rate is the most important benchmark for interest rates in the U.S. economy, and it influences interest rates throughout the world economy as a whole. Thanks to this rather indirect arrangement, what happens when the Fed raises rates? If the Federal Reserve raises the Federal Funds target rate, it will cause interest rates on all loans to rise. When interest rates rise, it raises the cost of borrowing money for both businesses and consumers. People who are unable or unwilling to make the additional payments delay financially dependent enterprises. At the same time, it motivates savers to put their money away in order to receive larger interest returns. This tends to limit inflation and slow economic activity, or cool off the economy, by reducing the supply of money in circulation. Impact on stocks Stock prices may drop in response to increased market interest rates. Companies, both public and private, face higher costs of operation when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates. It's possible that public companies' income and earnings would decline as a result of rising costs and fewer customers over time, which could slow their rate of growth and reduce the value of their shares of stock. The effect of Fed rate hikes on investor sentiment toward the market is more immediate. Without waiting for the lengthy and convoluted process of higher interest rates to work their way through the entire economy, speculators may swiftly sell off stocks and switch into more defensive investments when the FONC announces a rate hike. Impact on bonds. When interest rates shift, bonds' values fluctuate widely. When the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, bond prices in the market instantly fall. This is due to the fact that brand new bonds with attractive interest rate payments will soon hit the market. Existing bonds will decrease in value as a result of the higher overall rates, making their relatively lower interest rate payments more attractive to investors. Impact on savings accounts and bank deposits. Though increased interest rates are terrible for borrowers, they are excellent for savers. The federal funds rate is used as a reference point for yearly percentage yields on deposit accounts APYs. When the Federal Open Market Committee hikes rates, your interest rate on deposits rises. That means the annual percentage yields APYs on savings, checking, CD, and money market accounts would increase as well. Due to increased competition amongst online banks for deposits, online savings accounts typically respond quicker to Fed rate increases. But the annual percentage yields offered by traditional brick and mortar banks react much more slowly to rate hikes and typically don't go particularly high even in the best of times. In other words, the Fed's goal in raising interest rates is to slow inflation over the long term. Ripples can be seen throughout the economy if interest rates rise and lending becomes more expensive. 
The Federal Reserve is actively working to reduce consumer demand for products and services in an effort to slow the economy as a whole. A gradual slowing of price increases is expected as demand declines. So now are you clear as to what the interest rate hike could mean for the economy? Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and family to make them aware of what is currently happening around the world. We will keep you updated, so stay tuned.